I don't know why, but I'm super nervous about getting these guys to meet. So here is the first of our three oxalotls. This is the first female we have. She is the one who gave me the babies that you saw in the other video recently. And then this would be the dad. He is a uh, albino. They're both albino. He's got the red tinge and she's got that um, green glow if you put her under a... Or she glows if you put her under a black light. And then our third one over here is a melanoid oxenolotl. And uh, today is his first day he's going to be meeting with the other two. So this is their tank. I will be cleaning it up today as uh, I noticed yesterday or the day before that uh, they weren't looking so happy in there. So I took them out and it's time to clean everything right up. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take out all this sand and I'm going to try and use those logs to keep their hides uh, pinned into the corners so they don't roll around while they're in there. But uh, since oxalotls have those uh, poop pellets, if you would, as soon as they kick it and destroy it, it just gets exploded and everywhere and my, uh, my filter just doesn't do a good enough job at keeping this tank clean enough for them. So it's a lot of cleaning and uh, I want to cut down on that so I'm going to be removing the sand today so that uh, less crap gets st uh, stuck in the tank. So I drained it and now it's all uh, empty over there. I'll show you it quick. As you can see, I still gotta get out the rest of the sand there, but uh, so far so good, we're getting there. So I've got the tank all cleaned up and ready to go. I've cleaned up all the sand and I've uh, took out all their decorations and cleaned them all up too, and uh, this is what we got. Looks a little less nice than before, but this should be a happier environment for them, and that's what I really care about. I don't know why, but I'm super nervous about getting these guys to meet. I've uh, had them all for a while, but only two of them have been living together. The other was living in a 20-gallon on his own. Uh, but I would like to get them all together in this uh, 55 long that I have. Um, it's got more, it should have more than enough space for everybody, and uh, I just don't want them to bite each other. So I've got that 55 long ready to go and I've got my three oxalotls. I'm still very nervous about putting them together. I really hope they get along and nobody bites each other because that would make me very sad if somebody gets bit. But uh, from what I read online, oxalotls don't normally eat each other. Maybe if they're scared or something like that, they might nip or something like that. But hopefully everything ends up being okay. They don't nip each other, they get used to each other and everybody's happy and I don't have to worry about it. I've uh, been overfeeding them for two days now. I've been... Uh, giving them a meal every day so they have two days of meals in a row so hopefully that keeps their bellies full and they don't feel like biting each other for food reasons i honestly don't know why my heart's beating so fast for this and why i'm so nervous about doing it but it's time here we go i know this isn't the best angle but my uh wife ain't here to help me uh film this and i definitely need two hands for this part so i'm gonna leave you guys here while i put them in hopefully you can at least see them swim in there and then i'll uh, bring the camera closer after i get everybody in there So there's number one. Here's number two, and we're already right next to each other. These two haven't met before, so I want to show you guys. But those are the two there. Hopefully you guys stay nice and calm. So far, so good. Alright, we got one more to grab, so let's grab her. And there's the three different lottles. So far so good. Everybody seems pretty relaxed. Nobody's freaking out. Everybody seems to be okay with everybody here. My heart's beating a mile a minute. 
but uh, starting to starting to chill out. As you can see, we got our pinky, and we got our melanoid oxalotl, and then we got our albino glow alotl. I like to call them glow alotl. <laughs> Apparently, they're called Lucy when they're that color. Uh, somebody informed me of that. So far, so good. Those are the two males, and that's our one female over there. I'll, uh, I'll let you know as things change. Hopefully they start moving around and say hi to each other. I'm starting to say hi to each other. I think uh, they're trying to figure out who's a boy and who's a boy here. Oh, we both boys. That's a different color, eh, guys? Never seen that before. Tried to put her with the other two, but she kind of swam over here on her own, so. I don't want to freak them out, so I'm just going to let everybody do what they want to do. I'm going to spend the rest of my day just staring at these guys and, uh, you know, hoping, hoping that nobody ever hurts anybody, and I'm going to probably just, you know, not sleep tonight. Stuck in the middle with you. So I was wrong about uh, my melanoid oxalotl. It is actually a female. So I'm probably going to spend the next 24 hours not sleeping and staring at these guys just to make sure that everybody ends up being okay, but you know. This is my life. Well, we're about an hour and a half in. Nobody's bit nobody yet. Uh, there was one nip in a general direction, so I fed them yet again. Um, and now everybody seems to be chilled out a little bit more. So, uh, hopefully no more of that, because that's just going to raise my anxiety through the roof, and I might have to move them again. I don't want to do that. Luckily, if some small nip does happen, they are oxalotos, it will grow back. It just, you know, I'm sure they don't like it, and I'm sure... They don't want it, and I don't want it either. I mean, getting hurt sucks, right? I don't think I should be going near the tank too much right now. They kind of associate me with food, so they all kind of start looking up and looking for something to bite at. So I'm going to hang a little away from them for now. But uh, she uh, she did kind of give a nip in the general direction. Didn't hurt them or anything. Didn't get them. So that's good. But I am now extra worried and my eyes are glued to the tank. I'm not going to be able to take my eyes off this tank all day. Well, if you made it to this point of the video, I'd like to thank you for making it this far. I will give you guys an update short video tomorrow, like, I don't know, probably like 15 seconds, like an actual short, um, that I'll upload tomorrow on an update on how everybody's doing. Uh, if you're interested in that, you should subscribe, because then you'll get a notification when it comes out. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Stay awesome.